Hello folks, welcome to this segment of Go Archery. You know, we all have our own little special uh, bow hunting setup, but I'm gonna take just a couple of minutes and just go over a few features of mine. And I, over the years, I have evolved to what I feel now I have the ultimate setup. First of all, my sight. I have three fixed pins on my sight, 25, 35, and 45. They're also a fiber optic pins as well allows me to shoot in low light conditions. But I have a, another additional feature that I think is really, really neat and has been very, very valuable. My top pin is calibrated where I can move it out to 50 or 60 yards and shoot dead on. This sight, which is a spot haul, gives me that ability. There are a lot of other sites that also will give you that ability as well, but I use the spot hog. So if I want to shoot at 49 yards, 40 yards, I'll just dial right in use my top pin and I'm right on. And that makes a big difference. But sometimes, you know, I love to have those 20 yard shots, but sometimes, you know, particularly here in Alabama over food plots, that buck hangs up at 40 to 50 yards. And it's nice where I can dial right to 50 yards and hold right on it. What the fixed pins will do in low light conditions or when I really have to shoot quickly, I have a 25 and a 35 and a 45 yard pin. So think about that setup the next time you get a bow sight, have the option of have fixed pins, but also the option to be able to move one of your pins uh, to an exact yardage. Another thing that makes a huge difference here, when I set my sight up, I always use my rangefinder. Even in my practice segments, my rangefinders are always with me. I don't use mark yardages with a tape. This is my electronic tape as well. So next time on your practice segment, you set your pins, use your rangefinder. Keep in mind the importance of being able to dial directly on at those longer distances. It'll make a huge difference in the field for your success. These are two great tips from this week's segment of Go Archery.